Hey everyone, and welcome to the third question in cracking ML interviews. So, here is the problem. Explain underfitting and overfitting. Well, I think this is one of the questions that I've been asked in almost every interview. And it basically narrows down to two things. One of them is the data complexity, okay? And the other one is the model complexity. So for underfitting, what happens is that your data is quite complex while your model is not. So your model is not able to capture the underlying patterns in your data. Think of that like a linear regression, regression, trying to fit a complex polynomial. No matter how hard you try, this function will not be able to fit well this data. And on the other hand, we have overfitting, where the opposite happens. Okay? So your data is not so complex while your model is quite complex. So the model can learn very well the patterns in data, including the noise. And this basically reduces to like your model memorizing the data. So it can generalize well. And think of it like a very high degree polynomial trying to fit a line. It will do such a good job in capturing the data, but when you use it to predict new points, it will do a pretty bad job because it didn't really capture the underlying patterns in your data. One follow-up question that is usually asked is how do we fix each one? So for underfitting, so for instance, if you had features like x1 and x2, you could add features like x1 squared, x2 squared, or x1, x2. And all of this does is to make it easier for the model to learn the patterns in your data. And what else you can do is also to increase the complexity of your model. And this could be done with things like switching to a more powerful model. So for instance, if we switch from linear regression to a neural network, or you can decrease the regularization. So you give your model more freedom and thus increasing the function space it can learn from. And for the overfitting problem, we can increase the complexity of our data by collecting more data. And we can decrease the complexity of our model by simply switching to a simpler model or by increasing the regularization. We should reduce the freedom of the model and thus reducing the function space it can learn from. And that's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.